Here's something interesting. You would think normally that people uh, already have enough trouble trusting lawyers, right? I mean, uh, uh, th there's, there's so many different questions and concerns of when it comes to lawyers. But what about a lawyer who claims that he was part of a secret, go secret government time travel program when he was a kid? Since 2004, Seattle attorney Andrew Basiago has been publicly claiming that from the time he was seven to the time he was 12, he participated in Project Pegasus, which is, a, according to him, a secret U.S. program that works on teleportation and time travel under the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. Let's take a listen to some of Andrew, uh, uh, Andrew Basiago talking about exactly what happened and, and the long existence of this program. The, um, the U.S. time-space program emerged in the mid-1960s mm -hmm. in a project under the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency called Project Pegasus. Pegasus. Okay. Um, I know that it had an operational time travel capability that owed its debt of gratitude to Nikola Tesla because sometime between uh, my September birthday in 1967 and my September birthday in 1968, my father and I teleported from the old Curtis Wright Aeronautical Company facility in Woodridge, New Jersey to Santa Fe and then we drove uh, to a meeting with Dr. Harold Agnew at the Los Alamos National Labs. And during that meeting, Dr. Agnew asked my father my age, and we both answered simultaneously six. So uh, now, relative to Montauk, that places teleportation about 15 years before the Montauk timeline begins in the books. <laughs> about Montauk by Preston Nichols and Peter Moon. Okay, uh, what do you think, Lewis? Have you had enough of this? Are you familiar with the Montauk timeline? I am unaware <laughs> of any such timeline. I love this stuff. And he talks about, he, the video is 40 minutes long. It's quite, quite remarkable. The, he says that the machine consisted of two gray elliptical booms about eight feet tall, separated by about 10 feet, wh between which a shimmering curtain of what Tesla called radiant energy was broadcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> When, when you hear something like this, do you think that this person, it's, he sounds perfectly reasonable, right? He's presenting this in a very reasonable way, the way a lawyer might speak before a judge. I don't think he sounds reasonable. I think he sounds calm and collected, but I don't think that's the same as reasonable. You I mean, don't think that the te technology Nikola Tesla developed led to this guy being teleported with his dad? What do you think I think? <laughs> I think we, none of us believe that. But uh, I don't know how to interpret this. Like, is this guy... The fact that this guy tells this story, does that mean he is incompetent as a lawyer under any circumstances to represent anyone? Or could you believe this and still be a competent lawyer? Sure you can. I think you could believe this and still be a competent lawyer. You think? Yeah. You yeah. believe you, were, you teleported when you were six years old with your father as part of the Montauk timeline and the Pegasus Project funded by DARPA? Who knows what this kid, kid's dad told him? I mean, <laughs> oh, you think that that's what it may be? Oh, come on. It's got to be. Natan? Well, I mean, we've talked a lot about the diagnosis of paraphrenic schizophrenia and how it relates to multiple guests and different people we talk about on the show. <laughs> right. So uh, it's perfectly possible that this guy, when he talks about this, he just he's absolutely crazy. But when he's a lawyer in his daily life, he's a great lawyer. So he may be paraphrenic. Right. Well, there he, you go. he doesn't sound like like he has a low IQ. He doesn't sound like he's slow in any way. He doesn't sound. Uh, like his mind he is particularly malleable. I mean, he just he sound, he seems completely normal, except for this one issue. Uh, I don't see why he couldn't be a, a fantastic attorney. All right. You should have used the Montauk timeline to, to run the 5K in under 17 minutes yesterday. I think what I need to do here is just go back in time like he did to find out if he was actually there when he said he was. Yeah, that's right. That would be the, the simple way, right? Couldn't we just travel in time and figure out whether this guy was there? So I'm going to go... Um, to wherever this building was, and um, I'm going to work on that. All right, we're signing Lewis up for the Pegasus Project. Mm -hmm. Has DARPA ever been in touch with you? Uh, not recently. <laughs> <laughs> Back when you lived in Florida. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. Please go to Facebook.com slash David Pakman Show, like the David Pakman Show, and of course, email me if you sign up for a yearly membership and you want that free, one-of-a-kind, extra-large T-shirt. Back after this. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.